Hi, I'm Jonathan from Jack Rowland here. Uh, this short video is to demonstrate the unpacking and the installing of the Sanger POS unit. First item to plug in is the power supply. Uh, you know the power supply because it'll say Sango Base on it. It's a cloverleaf power supply and it has four pins. Next, network cable feeds through there. Plugs into network port there. Okay. Next item that plugs in here is this little nine-way adapter. This basically gives you the serial port for your card reader. The printer will connect two ways. Uh, you can either use this cable, which is in amongst the cables that we first showed you when we unpacked the POS unit, which again goes through there. And then it plugs into the top of the four grouped RJ45 connectors here. Again. through there. That will give you, grab another one, that will give you the nine way D which you can plug into the cable that comes from, comes with the printer, this cable here, so you can run the printer to wherever you want to on the counter. The other method, you use this smaller cable, um, you can tell the difference between this cable they do look the same, except one has screw fittings and they have other has receptacles. Okay, but they are both male cables. Also, the cable coming from there on the this other cable is round on the one it's flat. So bring this cable around here so you can see. So this cable plugs into there and goes up. Next is the power supply. The power supply looks very similar to the POS unit power supply. Uh, it has a standard kettle lead plug on there and it's three pins instead of four pins so that's how you can tell the two apart. Finally, we need the cable for the cash drawer. This cash drawer is the little RJ11. Again, that feeds up through. So I'm doing this this side. Normally I do it the other side of the unit and then it plugs into the gray connector there securely. The printer can then be placed underneath the POS unit. So 
this printer there.